very, very important, I think, that we preserve um, that part of our musical heritage, particularly in, when you're talking about local organ building firms. The Willises, the Walkers, um, th those organs will, will forever live on, but the Brewers, the Herds of this part of the world, um, very important that we are made uh, aware locally of, of their significance, particularly when they when they survive in anything approaching original condition. And so the final piece then, um, if you were part of the chic society in Paris um, in the middle and latter years of the, of the 19th century, and you happened to um, go to mass on a Sunday at either La Madeleine or, or Saint-Sulpice, you would have come across uh, Louis James Lefebvre Vade, who was the uh, sort of Liberace uh, of the organ of his day. Um, and we're told that the churches, La Madeleine and saint sulpice uh, where he was organist at, um, were packed, not because of any religious fervour, but they all went along to hear Lefebvre Vade play, um, because his favourite trick at the end of the service, and you have to imagine yourself in one of these lofty, big French cathedrals, with the organ way up at the West End, uh, uh, and a bit of a brute of a thing it was too. Um, his favourite trick was to improvise as the congregation left. Um, and as you will hear from the piece I'm about to play, his soft T um, in E flat, um, they certainly would leave with a bit of a spring in their step, and, and you could well understand why they would come back for more the following week. Um, I, did, I played this at Camborn Centenary two weeks ago when I played at the Sunday morning service there. Um, and I, <laughs> I don't think they knew quite what had hit them, um, or they thought I was totally insane, but they, they, they all thoroughly enjoyed it and agreed it was a good way to go home for Sunday lunch after a, after a Sunday morning service. So I hope you enjoy, uh, as I said, this, this is a, the, the link is very tenuous, it's just that the, the music dates from the same period as the, as the organ here, so there's no local link. Um, uh, there's, there's no link specifically to this organ other than um, it's contemporary with what was, what was happening, albeit in, from France rather than uh, in England. Um, so thank you very much. Um, it's, it's lovely that we, we do still have this organ. Um, it is hard work to play. The old girl really does now need a bit of a, a restoration and some of the actions need, um, need attending to. But um, the fact that she, she keeps going as well as she does in all winds and weathers, in what sometimes are unforgiving circumstances in, in churches, particularly during the winter months, um, I think is, is all due uh, testament to the, to the workmanship, the quality of the workmanship that went into uh, the original construction, and of course the care that uh, has been uh, lavished on the instrument by successive generations of the Crown Congregation and organ builders. So to send you away today, and um, hopefully with a spring in your step, um, Louis James Lefebvre Bailey's Sorti in E-flat. <laughs>